An ABC 17 storm track weather alert day goes into effect in just a matter of hours and lasts through Sunday morning. Chief Meteorologist Jessica Hafner is tracking that snowfall between two to three inches now. Those high wind gusts that could create some problems seen outside and those bitterly cold temperatures. We are currently hearing reports of an Amtrak train derailment in Sheraton County, Missouri. This is in the northwest part of the state, a little more than an hour northwest of Columbia. At least three people hurt in that crash were flown to MU's University Hospital in Columbia. ABC 17's chief photographer Chris Bryant's live at the hospital right now. Chris, what have you heard about the patients coming to Columbia? In an ABC 17 News special report, state lawmakers are reconsidering a law that allows people who end up in prison as children a chance to get out early. News outlets across the United States have covered this fire here in Cooper County, one that destroyed about 20 buildings, displaced 10 families. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is here with us as well, talking with the family that you first spoke with on Sunday, immediately after the fire. Marissa, just two hours ago, his attorneys say they learned about the charges through the media. The case now sets off another chapter in the deadly event that happened almost two years ago. In less than a week, Missourians will have the chance to vote on Amendment 3, which legalizes adult use of recreational marijuana in the state. If the amendments pass, Missourians could start seeing changes by the start of 2023. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller's taking a look at what Amendment 3 means. The 2022 midterm election is wrapping up within the next two hours. And our team at ABC 17 is out and ready to bring you every single detail we can before and after polls close. It remains to be seen just how the House of Representatives is going to be split party-wise. Blaine Lutkemeyer, who you'll be joining there in the House, says he's feeling confident Republicans will have control of the chamber. What are you thinking if the GOP ends up in control here? What do you want the party to get done in the next two years here? St. Louis and some of its surrounding areas were damaged by the historic amount of rainfall that came yesterday. But when was the last time that much rain fell in St. Louis? And how does it compare to what we saw yesterday? Well, Jessica Hafner took a look at some historical rain data for St. Louis and can give us some of those details. We made history, Jessica. We will have <laughs> plenty of Super Bowl coverage tonight. We have crews downtown Columbia at Academy Sports and even in Kansas City. But we are first going to turn things over to ABC 17's Chanel Porter with highlights from the big game itself. Chanel, wow. That's the only thing that really comes to mind, for me at least.